Happening right now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in South Carolina making stops on his Florida Blueprint Tour, talking about strategies he's used leading Florida since 2019. This is many of his supporters wait for an answer on whether he'll run for president. And today he's made stops in North Charleston as well as Somerville and will be in Spartanburg tonight. We have team coverage. Chloe Salsamita will give us more insight about his trip to Spartanburg. But first, we check in with Raymond Owens joining us live from North Charleston. And Raymond, tell us more about the governor's visit so far. Well, of course, he's been hinting that he may run for president of the United States, but it's certainly not a subtle hint. He talked about progress that he has been able to make in Florida and also how Washington, D.C. could make improvements if they took some, some hints, really, from the way Florida is being run. Now, uh, Tara Wood, or Tara, Tara Wood, excuse me, the head of Charleston's Moms for Liberty organization, she introduced DeSantis today. He went right into why he says Florida is a model for other states to follow. He touted no income tax while also having the largest state budget surplus in Florida history. During COVID, DeSantis said they, quote, chose freedom over Fauciism, end quote. He talked about countering the woke movement, describing what he calls the, quote, woke mind virus. He also said Florida banned the teaching of critical race theory and made sure parents could inspect curriculum. DeSantis says he believes in working hard on offense when it comes to politics. You know, I'm not going to be like some other Republicans. Some of these guys get into office and they're like potted plants. They don't do anything. And I'm thinking to myself, like, we need to go on offense. And one thing I didn't really hear much, really any of uh, today is Donald Trump. President Trump really wasn't part of uh, the speech at all. Of course, he is the front runner right now for that presidential nomination on the Republican Party side. Now, later on today, DeSantis did go around lunchtime to Coastal Coffee Roasters in Somerville, and then he had an event where he spoke to people, a no, no press event, uh, where he spoke to people at the Somerville Country Club. Live in North Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens, Count On Two.